But there is a, a long-term cost to living cheaply in the short term. Let me say that again. There's a long-term cost to living cheaply in the short term. I know what that means firsthand, growing up in the San Fernando Valley, when the street that I lived on, Woodley Avenue, which bisects the San Fernando Valley, I lived right between the 101 and the 405 freeways. And on our street back then when we had smog alerts and we had leaded gas, um, a lot of people right there on our street you know, had cancer. My mom, thankfully, and my dad, thankfully, both survived it. But you look at the cluster of folks that were right by freeways dealing with the impact. Sure, it was cheaper gas, but what was the long-term cost? And similarly, as we look at what we're going to do with coal, and the great leadership of Ron Nichols, who is our general manager of the Department of Water and Power, which is shifting its view from, hey, what's the cheapest today, not thinking about what the cost is tomorrow. That's what your mission, that's what your discussion is all about today. We can change those things that seem for a moment to cost us a little bit more, but we know in terms of human health, in terms of the health of this planet, and in terms of who we are and the way that we connect with our environment, that we will be living not only much more inexpensively, but much more healthy and longer lives as well. So thank you to Lane. This is a way we can get in these times people back to work too, which we need. Installing solar panels, getting people out there, looking at alternative forms of energy, conserving as well, because we know that the bang for the buck when we go door to door and we have young people like yourselves out there talking to people about how they can save energy, how they can save water, Let's not look so much at rates. We'll discuss rates. The most important thing is how expensive is, is, is your bill, not how expensive is the rate. And if we can do things to bring everybody's bill down and be greener, we've done great things putting people back to work.